Okay. You're fine. Follow. Kirk. Here. Again. Here. Signs. Here. Mormon. Here. The class. Sucker. Here. Gray. Here. Okay, number two, approval agenda. Your change your honor. Uh, no changes. One to approve. Second. Call the roll. <clears throat> Yes. Signs. Yes. Foreman. Yes. Sucker. Yes. Oh. Gray. Yes. Bird. Yes. Okay, number three, presentation petitions, other communications. A swearing in of firefighter, Matthew Deidre. Is that right? All right. Come on up here. Where you want us, Justin? Yeah, right there's good. Yeah, okay. And you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I in your name. I am Matthew Peter. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Iowa and the Constitution of the State of Iowa. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge all the duties of the rank of firefighter. Discharge all the duties of the rank of firefighter for the Boone Fire Department. For the Boone Fire Department. As now or hereafter required by law. As now or hereafter required by law. Congratulations. Mr. Mayor, a little bit about Matt. Yeah. Uh, he comes to us from the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department, uh, where he's been on just roughly eight years, just short eight years. Yes, sir. And so uh, they're looking for a smaller town to to move out of the, the metro and, and back to a smaller town. Yeah. And they pick Boone, so awesome. Great. All right, now you get a poke him. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Right in. Yeah. <laughs> we have a room full of paramedics if you need them. <laughs> I'll grab a stop of me. Uh, De novo demolition and presentation on 628 Story Street for Iowa. You know, I'm here for the Hey, uh, my name is David Jorgensen. I'm business developer for De novo. Patrick uh, Davis, Patrick Lewis. Uh, he's an architect, also works with the business development. So, you have our item on the agenda a little bit later um, for, for approval, so we appreciate it. Just a little opportunity to let you know who we are and then what our process is. So we'll kind of go through that fairly quickly. There's a book for it on your desk. Um, if you put just at the first page, the novel has been around as a um, contractor for a number of years, mainly focused in the health and long term living, and also in the high tech. Farming community as far as hog farms and chicken farms are the real life of us. And we are a sister company of KCL Engineering. They've been around for a lot longer than we have been. About two years ago, we decided to get into the public sector a little bit more than on the De Novo side because our sister company does a lot of design work in the in the public sector as well. So uh, we started the construction process. On that side of the business, we're a construction manager just because of the laws of the, of the state of Iowa. Um, so we started doing some projects. I, I came on board about two years ago, uh, to, and I've been around this business for about 35 years. So I've done a lot of projects in the construction world with a bunch of different areas, uh, mainly K-12 school cities and counties. So it was a good process to keep going with. And then we also had, if you notice on the, in the middle of the page, Todd Majors. Todd was with the Des Moines School District as their project manager and had done a number of work, uh, number of projects for them. 
Then we rebuild most of the old buildings, about 150 million dollars worth. <clears throat> And then we brought on Brian Crawford down on the far left. Uh, Brian's been around this business. That point as long as it's about 26 years. Mainly focused on the public buildings as far as building school districts, remodeling school districts, and that kind of thing. And Patrick just joined us uh, right about the first year. Patrick and I have been doing work before. Um, he was on the architectural side, I was on the business development side, and what we were working with the two companies together. As <clears throat> all told, we built this team of four people to work on the public sectors. We've got about 68 communities between us that we've served. It's over just short of $400 million worth of construction work between all of us and about 140 projects. So we've worked on quite a, quite a variety of projects. The, the rest of the book is really for your reference. Um, each one of us has a list in here that you can read through for our projects for and what their size is. If you need any more information, such as references out of that group, you're more than happy to get into that. As you can see, there's quite, quite a long list for the whole thing. So you also have a sheet on your, to your table and the map that I'm going to ask Patrick to kind of walk you through as far as the process as we see it fitting uh, for, for the, your demolition project. Thank you. Yeah, so the way that we plan on fitting into this demolition project right down the street is to help you make that a flat site. So the way that DeNovo is going to act as a construction manager is to, uh, starting tomorrow, get the site uh, survey going, get the demolition plans going, get it ready to get it out. Part of that's going to be making sure that all of the nuanced pieces as far as how the, the demolition site plan works, maintaining your streets, maintaining uh, the schedule of when they can work, get included into the specifications so that it's <coughs> the city needs to needs it to happen as a project and how uh, it's going to sit when it's all done. Uh, so we are the conduit to the design team and to any of those other people that need to get hired as far as the service go. Uh, and then, like, so the, it's one one person to call when you have questions is our team, not the design team and whatnot. So we've already discovered, so we'll move into the middle piece to our process. We already we know what we're doing, we're taking down the building. Uh, Step two, we're going to move into design of that, get it done. We'll, we will then help be on site and oversee, or after we bid and get everything under underway, we will be on site to help oversee that everything that we specified gets demolished, demolished as planned. And then when everything's done, we'll make sure that everything is the way it was done as well, then too. So, uh, yeah, we're just keeping you are happy to be a part of this project for the city and we know it's real. Kind of our timeline that we've been looking at is uh, like Beck said, we'll get to work in all the road got people in standby. Assuming you you approve that the agreement tonight. Um from the design, bidding, contracts for the contractors to actual getting the work started and completed, we're looking at our timeline says by the end of November, weather dependent, we should be done with that project. For sure, by the first of the year is, is our target. So it should be a nice, clean slate, uh, hopefully, before snow starts falling. But we are not able to know what can happen. But uh, we've talked to the one contractor we've been on site already. They can help us put a, uh, a budget number together for you that, that you've seen. And uh, it fits with their timeline. But, from what we're hearing, there's probably going to be some pretty good competition when the bids get out of the street. So, uh, students are going crazy right now, but we think there's going to be some really good interest in the projects. Any questions we can ask for you at this point? You can share those numbers if you want to use the budget. Yeah, the budget for the demolition side right, right. is $350,000. There's a couple alternates that we're going to look at as far as crushing the concrete that might. Be more advantageous to push it on site, and that's a, an option that we'll be putting on it just to see what bids come out of. So. Any questions? Okay, we will we'll we'll be having a lot of meetings in the next yeah, yeah. 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 Be a lot of meetings in the next few days. We're gonna, I'm gonna kind of act as the liaison between the city and the construction company because based on my construction experience. So if you guys have any questions that can pop up, you can run them through me or through Bill or through Greg, and we'll get an answer for you. Okay. 
And we're going to stick around until you uh, bring it up uh, under uh, the, the administrator's uh, agenda tonight. So if you have any questions at that, uh, we'll do that. Thank All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. AC, Senate Public Hearing for August 16, 2021 at 6 p.m. Consideration of the sale of public right away in 100 block of 6th Street and 7th Street, block 108, Blair's Fourth Edition. All the roll. Science? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Becker? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bird? Yes. McGinn? Yes. JD set a public hearing for August 16, 2021 at 6 p.m. for consideration of the sale of public right of way in the 500 block of Marion Street and Fremont Street, block 35, original Boonesboro, Northeast, Northwest. So moved. Okay. All the roll. Foreman? Yes. Becker? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Sign? Yes. Yeah, he set a hearing for August 16, 2021 at 6 p.m. for consideration of rescinding ordinance 2169 floodplain management ordinance and adopting a new floodplain management ordinance and an updated firm mapping for the city of Boone as recommended by FEMA. Okay. Call the roll. Becker? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Sign? Yes. Morgan? Yes. Okay, number four, report of standing committees, policy administration, GJ. No report. Uh, public safety and transportation, Stephen. No report. Utility committee, Stephen. We will have a meeting next week. However, we have, this will be on Tuesday at 10 at 4 30. Uh, economic development, Lee Gray is not with us this evening. Uh, number five, department reports. Uh, building Special Ed is with us. No report. Yeah, no report. Okay. Thank you. Uh, finance officer, Andrea. Uh, we were able to take advantage of a $9,500 technology grant uh, that bought us six laptops and a webcam. One of the laptops will be used uh, where those things are using the service program. It should be more uh, faster, uh, bigger, and hopefully be able to record better than what we turning into right now. So that I think you out some electrical stuff, but we'll get it figured out. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, next up, city attorney, Jim, you have any report? Uh, we have heard from our insurance carrier about being sued by Boone County, and they will provide a defense. They will cover damages if awarded, but all of that is <coughs> preservation. So, what that means at this point uh, is that they'll, uh, they'll defend the lawsuit. That's all good. Thank you. Uh, Director of Public Works, John Rouse. Yes, John, just an update. Um, we got our salt today. We're filling up our sheds. Um, we did a facelift for the pump rally, which is this weekend. Um, we'll move the tables Thursday to the green space for the, for the first Thursday to be open. Big guys on patch is completed. It's still blocked off, supposed to block off on Thursday, but then might open it early, depends on how concrete's open. It's already open. Uh, anyhow, um, that, that's it. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, engineer Bill, acting engineer Bill. <laughs> First item on the agenda is the South Marshall Street overlay project. Uh, on July 28th, we opened bids. Two bids were received. Uh, Manax received a bid of 261-38379. Inroad to LLC, the morning was 264-381. In the packet, there's a letter from SEH. Uh, recommending approval of the bid from an ads for South Marshall Street overlay. Terry, do you have anything else? Yeah, it was under our estimate, yeah. um, under budget as well, and it's the same contractor. Did that, so. right. Uh, an approval for that project to award it to the Manats uh, or incorporated. So, Second, 
Gray? Yes. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Steins? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Becker? Yes. Next item is we also uh, open bids on July 28th for the Stone Water Treat Facility Exterior Wall Repair and Repointing Project. Uh, we received one bid from RH Grayball Construction Incorporated in the amount of 276962 uh, This is over engineer's estimates, I believe, as well as over our budget. Uh, Gary, I'll let you speak a little bit. Yeah, um, since we only had one bid and it came in substantially higher than the budget, um, we do recommend rejecting bids and actually putting it back up to a bid uh, this winter. Um, there's a couple of reasons we think that uh, bids came in higher than we expected. Uh, first off, uh, the bidders were a little bit anxious about getting this done yet this before winter weather hits this year. Uh, we did have liquidated damages built into the contract where they would have to pay $500 for a calendar day after they did not complete by our completion date of the end of October. That was the one. Uh, the other one is more on the supply chain side. Uh, through, through some of the bidders expressed potential problems getting some of the equipment, tracked equipment, but the material needed to do the work um, this year. So, um, in light of that, the ones that we'd expect to bid did not even bid this project. So, what we're hoping to do is rebid this in our time uh, with this process. Just and at that point in time, hopefully, some of this anxiety will go down a little bit in time. Uh, we'll get to more of the COVID supply chain issues, hopefully, and then also uh, give the contractors more time to do the work next construction. I asked our structural engineer who basically designed the project whether or not there's any threat to safety or any other um, implications by not going forward this year. And he felt that there was none, no concerns waiting until next year. From a staff perspective as well, when we do our budgets starting in the fall for this year 23, we'll have to budget more money for this project for $77,000 what was originally budgeted for. And I've also spoken with the employees at the water treatment facility, let them know we'll keep an eye on it and uh, fill up on it as well. So, if there are no questions, I would ask for a motion to reject the loan bid for that project. So, move. Okay, call the roll. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Stein? Yes. Parker? Yes. Becker? Yes. Steins? Yes. Foreman? Yes. Ray? Yes. Okay, next up, public safety, Chief Adams. Uh, just a couple quick items is, uh, number one is a reminder, September 11th, we're gonna have that remembrance uh, memorial outside here, breakfast, uh, food is gonna be provided by Fairway. It's a come and go event. Uh, welcome to everybody, all, everybody in the community. Um, <clears throat> second thing is, uh, just letting you know, I let Bill kind of know an update. Uh, we finished out July with our ambulance contract is we're about to 71 runs for the year. So if we project that out, we'll be at about 120, which would be about uh, 70 above what our contract states. Uh, so we'll work on a, an agreement uh, for payment on that to deal. And then third is uh, Captain Peterson was in here tonight and there's a resolution in here, but uh, uh, he started in 1988 as a volunteer for our, for the department and got hired full time in 1992. So uh, he served just under 30 years of full time and, and a little over 30 years in, in a capacity as a firefighter for the city of Boone. So he'll be uh, sorely missed, but uh, hopefully he'll enjoy retirement and, and uh, uh, I appreciate his service. So that's it, Your Honor. Uh, Chief Weevil. Okay, City Administrator Bill. Thank you, sir. Uh, first item I have is the resolution uh, for the execution of special services agreement for general contract on the demolition project at 628 Story Street of uh, Novo. The contract, as you know, is in the packet as well as the resolution. The fee uh, for the normal on this is 15% of the cost of the project. I'll answer any other questions you have. If there are any otherwise, uh, I would ask for a motion to approve the contract. This is just the demolition work. This is just the demolition at 620 Story Street, yes. Nothing else at this point. So moved. Second. 
Again? Yes. Science? Yes. Mormon? Yes. Stecker? Yes. Gray? Yes. Bird? Yes. Okay, my next uh, item is the uh, discuss the federal year March for bubbles and drive. I'll go back a little bit to some of the council people weren't here at the time. Several years ago, when the overpass was being looked at, uh, being put on uh, Air Corporate Road, Corporate Center Drive, uh, Mayor Slight uh, and a few other people from their own, I don't know, I'm not sure if the council person was or not, but went to Washington, D.C. to try to pay some money for that project. As a result of that, and a lot of work, we were given two appropriations for that, or is earmarked for that project. As you know, that project did not go forward. The money uh, is still there, and there's a chance that it can be repurposed. The first amount was around 448000 If you remember, that was uh, given back to DOT for the North Pass project in that effort when we made the rounds of the state, going to the commission meetings to try to get that project moved up two years. That was uh, some money that was um, given back to DOT for that project. The second earmark has now come up uh, where it can be uh, repurposed. That amount is $998,998. Uh, I've had a few conversations with DOT over the last week of, about that money. There are some options uh, that we can use that money for. If we can find a project uh, that can be repurposed for that we would get that money is one option. Another option is to give it back to DOT. However, they would dollar for dollar uh, funnel that money back through our STP program. As you know, that's the money we get from the state through the federal government every year. We get a lot of every year. Uh, they called this morning and, and uh, we talked about another project and they think this is the best project and quite frankly I do too. It's a project that, that was already put on the books through STP in Des Moines when Dan was here and it's the South Marion and West Park Avenue project. So if you remember uh, the briefing I gave you several council uh, meetings ago about our project on paying, how we're paying for all these projects without raising any taxes. That project was on there for paying for that through the SDP money as well as uh, a bond. So what I believe we can use this money for is toward that project. I, DOT agrees that they think it can be repurposed. There's no guarantee until they actually uh, give it. But that would be about a million dollars for that project. Plus if you take the 726,000 that we can use as a match, that will be in our fund in Des Moines at the SDP project. That estimated project with 1.5 million could go a little more depending on bids, of course. That gives us about one point, a little over 1.7 million to use in that project. We're not using any city funds to get that project done. Um, we would stay with our, states, our, our same schedule that uh, we presented earlier where we would begin design in the spring of 22, begin construction probably in the uh, spring of 23. And that meets the timeline for the repurposement of this money. Uh, DOT believes it's a good project and the engineer I talked to. So that would be my recommendation that we use it for that project. And I'll certainly answer any questions you have. All right, yeah, I'm sorry. So what were the other projects? If this is the best. Well, we have to find one. So this is the only one. Uh, yeah, I think this is the best project. I mean, we could get the money back. Uh, like if they, if we assign it to DOT, then they we funnel that money back to us through the SDP. But this is cleaner. And from top, the engineer talked about DOT, this is a better chance of us repurposing getting that money for a specific project like that. Okay, so if I could have a motion uh, to ask DOT to repurpose the money uh, for that earmark and that it be used for the South Marion and West Park pavement project. Overall. Science? 
Yes. Norman? Yes. Becker? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Okay, my next item is if you remember, AZDC was here at the last council meeting to give us an update of their downtown survey. But one of the other things they covered was some opportunities for CDBG funding. Uh, so we've been busy this last week and we have met uh, with a business here in town to see if there could be a public private partnership with them on applying for the CDBG grant. It's up to $500,000. We are still working on it where it's really preliminary, but I'm just giving you an update that this will be coming forward. I have uh, spoke with Simmery and Corey. If you remember the uh, West Boone uh, lift station project, we had to go through the survey and everything. We hired them to do it. They also did the grant. That's our, that's my anticipation this time that we will do the same thing. There's a possibility that if we get this uh, grant request, completed it and turned in before October, we will fall within that, according to uh, serving a court, we will fall still within that two years limit of that survey, so we wouldn't have to pay for another one. We're hoping that's the case, can't say 100% at this time. So that's moving forward, but so that that's kind of coming as a result of the last council meeting with ATDC, and I'll answer any questions you have. Okay, my next book, uh, Item is on your desk, uh, this Moody's Investor Service. This is a report from Moody's. Uh, I know we've been talking about some projects coming up that certainly we're gonna be probably needing a bond for. Uh, if you read this report, it's a very good report. Uh, so that's just for you, to, whenever you have time to read through it. When you do, if you have any questions on it, you can certainly call me and I'll let Andrea answer them. <laughs> and, uh, We'll go from there. Any, any questions? It's a, it's a very good report, but at least I feel it is. It certainly shows progress in there from 16 to 20. And our rating, now the rating hasn't, hasn't gone up, I'm going to A1, but if you read through this, you'll see some of the things that they've rated in, and, and in particular, the comments that were made under uh, credit overview finances and debt Oh, the only other thing, um, as you know, Labor Day is May, or excuse me, uh, September 6th on Monday. Do you want to move the council meeting to the 7th of that, that week? So it'll be Tuesday, September 7th. So council meeting do it. Rather than have it on the holiday. Okay. That's where you want to stop. Thank you. Okay, number six, consent agenda. Are there any items on the consent agenda that you'd like to remove and discuss separately? And if not, any motion to approve? Okay. Call the roll. Yes. Becker? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Science? Yes. Okay, number seven, we have another number eight. I have no comments from my eight council member comments this evening. Uh, several items here. First, I want to thank the council for voting to move forward on the demolition project. It's exciting to know that that building is going to be gone very soon uh, and very quickly. So it's, it's uh, progress. Um, again, the auction is scheduled for August 25th. There'll be more posts coming out, and I encourage all you, all of you, if you would, to share those posts with your uh, uh, with your Facebook account so that we can spread the word. Also, um, the Girl Scout camp reached out to me and was wondering if the council would consider, and we'll have to do this by resolution next uh, meeting, donating some of the institutional plumbing fixtures, flush valves, and faucets that are remaining in that building. Um, I had no plans on salvaging those things. Uh, those days are over for me, I'm pulling fixtures out of the building. But uh, it would be a nice gesture and it would save them a lot of money um, on their new um, renovation and the, uh, bathroom expansions out there. So if there's no objections, I'll ask to have that put on the agenda next time. If you have any questions, give me a call. 
I mean, but we have to, it'd be a good way to repurpose that stuff, this use out of it. Some of those pictures are right there. So uh, if you just send us a list of what it is, and I will give you a, a comprehensive list. So, you know, okay. Um, Greg also wanted me to share with you it's ED's intent to hold a citywide meeting on Thursday, August 19th. That be three days after our next council meeting um, to share some of the plans for a 628 story post demolition. Um, as we move forward with this project, we'll provide council with that information on the 16th. And then on the 19th, we're going to present to the public or at least start that process. Um, finally, uh, I just talked to Holly and I'm going to go to uh, chamber sometime in the near future to talk about the green space and the potential for them to lease that from the city and take control of that space um, for downtown uh, development type stuff. So, um, and then we'll present that to council. Um, if chamber doesn't end up doing that, then we'll work on an agreement for uh, the Arts Commission and the Farmers Market for the forward next year. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. Yep. Any other council comments this evening? Are there any public comments for items on the agenda? Yes, sir. Um, I, as well as probably the entire community, uh, want to express the appreciation to the city staff, etc., whatever, for opening up the room last week for the People that needed the air conditioning people. I don't know how well it was used. It was a great day. Thank you. Any other public comments? This meeting is adjourned.